Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Patricia and very welcome to coming back to my YouTube channel. And today it's a very special because I'm not going to share about atomic products, but instead of it, I want to share about the recent learnings that I had from a coach, from a motivational coach. I didn't sign up or didn't subscribe to any courses or classes, but this is something that I heard recently that it's really, really blow up my mind. So today I would like to share this three information with you. If you are the one that who actually suffer from like having a, a state of mind that feeling down feeling depressed or feeling demotivated so this might be a video for you so stay tuned and watch more okay first of all i would like to tell about what did i really think about uh when i received these informations but before that i would like to tell about my current situations like my state of mind and my mood all the time uh recently i feel maybe because of this confinement which is the mco in malaysia due to due to this covid 19 so for the past one year and a half i think all of us were suffering from this staying from home and there is no physical contact with people and we cannot do our networking like we used to do before and it's kind of uh you, you can switch everything to online, it is fine, but I think for every human being in nature, we like to have in physical contact with people because we can face to face, we can see people in their eyes, we can talk to them, we can touch them, we can share things together, we can have coffee together. But right now, because because of these online things, everything has been restricted and everything has to be like on the videos, on the Zoom and on everything. I do find the benefits of being online which is very convenient. Every time we just switch on the video and we can talk, it is very good but I still miss the physical contact. So I think because of this confinement or MCO period and every day, every, everyone started to feel a bit like going down, going lower and quite uncertain of how the future will be so during this period I think there are people doing some preparations trying to find out ways to deal with it and some part of the people maybe they just wait wait for something to happen wait for a better arrangement uh, from 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 the other parties for example like government or something like that but I'm not going to wait for that so I'm in the first part I want to discover what can be done better in this period Oh, oh yeah, just now I forgot to mention that where from my heard from this information and from these classes is from the Atomy Malaysia, the center leader workshop. This time they did a fantastic job because every time they were uh, program or they were design a, a, a program, like it's really benefits for center leaders or for all the leaders or if you just want to do the business in atomy they will equip you with more skills which is what i really like because sometimes you have the desire you have the dreams you have the passions it's not enough it's like in a relationship if you just have love it's not enough you, you need to have skills you need to have many things in order to maintain a good relationship with your loved one so same goes to business even though you have the passions you have the dreams and everything to fulfill your business but during the challenges during the hard time what kind of skills and what kind of behavior that you have is going to affect the result so i'm very very appreciate and thankful to atomy malaysia this time to actually include this kind of subject in the courses so it is attended for free and we are very lucky to actually get the DTA which is Satun Asmadi. Uh, he is a very famous motivational coach and he recently talked about this NLP methods which I have heard about it long long time before long before years before I heard about this course but uh, during my first encounter knowing this NLP my impressions towards NLP is not very good because I might not like something that is going to manip manipulating people's mind or trying to categorize people what type of person you are or being categorized. I think my first impressions was not very pleasant because I was being categorized and being treated in a specific way because they think I am this type. So that is the first impressions I have about NLP. So what is this course in this atom in Malaysia that the Tun uh, Asmadi, the Mr. Tun Asmadi DTA has totally changed my impressions about NLP because it's all about programming yourself into someone that you want to be a version of yourself no matter you are a student or you are just a worker or you are just anyone any positions that you are you will have a version of your self image that you want to be so what it is so is it very clear is it very vivid or is it just something that you think and you pass it on and then a lot of our current 
current life situation right now is mainly because of the series of behavior contribute to a series of habit that is going to change our it in our lifestyle so if we can change the behavior starting from a state of mind to a behavior and then to a specific habit and it will change totally of your lifestyle and this is something that i have been looking for in the internet and uh, a lot of information that i have been searching but i am very very lucky in this course i ha i have heard what i really want to hear and looking for for the past these few years okay and this nlp what does nlp stand for nlp is neuro linguistic processing okay so for this nlp it is like a program can you imagine yourself is like a software or it's like a computer you can program yourself into becoming uh, someone that you want to be. So if you have a choice today, just imagine if you have a choice today to put a specific software or installations or something to program yourself to become what you want to be, will you choose to do so? I believe the answer is yes, because my answer is clearly yes. If I do given a choice, to make me program myself again this is something that i want to sit down and do it okay so for this nlp i would just mention about three things that i learned from here and i wish that can be benefits you from a very fractions of these informations all right the first thing that i learned is the state of mind the state of mind state of mind is something very um abstract because every one of us we will have a state of mind for example me right now i have a state of mind that what i am right now and what what, what feelings that i have because all of us we have five senses what we see what we smell what we taste and how we feel when we touch it and also the listening okay the five senses so this five senses is going to determine your state of mind but sometimes we can be easily influenced by the external factors which is the environment that put us in a specific state of mind let me give you the example which is the example of DTA also given in in the talk he said uh, he has a favorite band okay so when this favorite band whenever he listened to the songs from the radio or he put it in on a phone when he listened to this song it will immediately put him in a state of mind of feeling young energetic very passionate and very very confidence so what kind of thing that can put you in the state of mind which is the positive one so usually for example he also give another very good example which is for example today we feel very energetic we want to go out and approach someone to talk about atomy but uh, when you get in the car all right you put on the radio and suddenly they play a very sad songs and happen to be this sad song triggers your emotions of feeling sad and suddenly you thought of your acts and suddenly you thought of some sad memories and suddenly hold off the world you feel doomed and you don't feel like going out anymore you just want to switch off the engine go back home and maybe just sit there doing nothing and just immerse into these memories right so we all of the time we are not conscious Conscious. we are being unconscious so this is what the powerful of unconscious mind because it is something that uh, make you do things automatically okay a lot of time we pick up things that we're doing it unconsciously because of the series of habit all right so for this state of mind how do we want to control our state of mind so here comes to the second step which they call it is the anchor anchoring okay anchoring your thoughts so we were talking about this anchoring all right this is very interesting because i never really think that uh, this anchoring is a, such a powerful mechanism that is going to change a state of mind in a split second in, it's like so quick it would change you all right so imagine a song or imagine a taste or imagine a place or imagine something that uh, that is trigger you suddenly to be in a state of mind and you now given a choice to choose the anchor all right for example I'm going to uh, 
choose three anchors okay i'm going to try i haven't tried yet i just got the information yesterday and today I, i'm 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 just woke up and i totally into this idea all right so if let's say i want to give myself three anchors and what kind of anchors that i want to give myself for example a specific songs that is going to make me feel powerful maybe when i wake up in the morning without me doing anything i will play this song first and continue to do the rest of my routines for example brush my teeth and facial and all this thing getting ready for myself maybe i will just play these songs so it will totally put myself in the ready mode to be in a state of mind being energetic and ready for the day so this is the first anchor maybe i would just try to do it the second anchor is a specific behavior is going to trigger me to do something this idea i get it from uh, youtube videos that i watch it tony robbins it's a very famous famous successful students coming from this nlp program what he did he has some specific behavior that is going to trigger himself very fast in split seconds to put his mind right in the state in the situations for example he has a signature uh, actions signature actions like he will knock on the knock on his hand all right or just knock on his chest or something specific behavior so when he's knock on his knock on his hand totally he will be a person that speak the right things no matter what kind of emotion that he has because this is like a reminder it is like an anchor that when you touch on it and straight away you will be in a mode okay this mode it's a very special mode or example when you like hit your chest you feel confidence when every time you say that i feel confidence when you hit on your chest i feel confidence i think that when you repeated it for some period of time it become like an unconscious thing that you will do to yourself so you are being conscious and this process will going into unconscious so imagine if you are doing a diet or you want to do an exercise it's so hard for me i'm not an exercise person if i want to motivate myself to do exercise i might need some anchors that remind me to do exercise right so the first was talking about state of mind and how to put yourself in a state of mind that you want we use the anchoring techniques so this is the number two anchoring techniques but all these two does not work without this number third thing which is the outcome the desired result that you want to be so now we come into the last part of it which is about the desired result or the outcome you want to be it is very important before we start anything before we plan anything we will have a goal we have we will have a result that we imagine this is what we want we want to be all right so imagining the desired result by thinking uh, physically is not enough you need to put your senses into it which is the most powerful senses that a god has given to all human beings to every living beings in the world okay these five senses you need to be really how to say to 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 describe it for example the, the if you want to do a diet you want to lose weight you want to do exercise so what is the, the desired result for example after i lose 10 kg of myself how do you feel how do i feel i can imagine myself putting up the jeans that i used to feel so tight before now it's feeling loosened the feeling is so good because it's loosened now and i can feel my body become lightweight when i move i move faster when i wake up i wake up with with, with with like feeling light i don't feel heavy anymore and when i do specific uh actions when i do specific way of doing things it change and i smell food differently like i'm not addicted to any um bad food or any greasy food anymore suddenly i'm a person that i can see and feel myself in love with exercise right so there is a desired result that you want to put yourself in the future visions and you have to put a timeline in it it doesn't matter if you couldn't achieve the goal in the timeline that you want to put yourself but always be realistic for example if you know that losing 10 kgs within two weeks whether is it realistic or not some people they can do it some people they can't and then they will give up they will give a very reverse effect on it so it's very important also to be realistic so this is my sharing for today actually this video is not planned and it's not prepared as you can see my background is like a bit of mess okay my, my my jeans is hanging there i totally didn't notice it so remember remember that 
all of us, we have everything to be successful. Everything. We are not lack of anything. It's just that whether are we conscious of what we have, the resources that what we have, are we conscious about it? And now, actually, we can program ourselves. Isn't it even more affecting to know? It's very affecting to me. Uh, at my stage right now, for example, my age, all right. So I want to plan something five years ahead, ten years ahead. I feel the courage to do so. Okay. So during this confinement, during this MCO period, I wish that more people shut up, shut up. Yes, I. Everyone has a very difficult situations, and not everyone in everybody's shoes to understand how hard it is. But definitely, this is you, and you are the person that is going to change everything. You are going to be what you want to be because all of us we have what it takes to be what we want to be. All right. So, but la last but not least, if you like this video and you like my YouTube channel, you are always welcome to subscribe to this channel. And I wish that any new videos come out in the future, it will benefit for you. The most important thing is you benefit from here. All right. So I see you soon again in next week. Bye. Thank you and take care.